Hello everyone, welcome back to more Spelunky 2. The saga continues. Watch out for that mole, by the way. Oh, is that a little frame skip there? Something went a little weird. Uh, all right, let's start over. <laughs> oh, what a shot, huh? Take that, scorpion. Can't stand scorpions. Unpopular opinion, right? Probably not. Uh, yeah, I want to use a bomb on that, but I want to wait until uh, I have finished exploring this area because it will be difficult to get back after using a bomb. There we go. It was ropes. Fine. I have certainly had games where I've been sad about my lack of ropes. Recently, even, I think. Uh, sorry, Monty. This is a bad place for you to be. I didn't have time to rescue us both. Like, I did, but I wasn't sure I did, so I got myself out first. <laughs> it's, it's like they say in airplanes, right? You know, if you have if you have uh, small children, put your mask on first and then throw them out the window. It's just uh, important to prior prioritize yourself in situations like this as a caretaker. <laughs> uh... That poor Monty. I don't know. I feel bad, but he's not real, so... I guess neither am I, right? My character is not real either, so... I'm not sure I can use that really as a justification. I want the cape? Um, I certainly could get it with, like, a bomb to blow up, say, a little gold here. But I'd rather spend a rope or two, even, since I have so many more ropes and bombs. And it looks like that's what I'm going to be doing here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the ghost pot. Um, probably I should bring it with me so I can smash it while I'm shopping. Yeah. I don't have to actually smash it while I'm shopping, but I'd like to have the option. And I probably will. Like, let's get real. Like, because I want the cape, and then... Like, wouldn't it be cool to have a pitcher's mitt? I think so. Let's tame this turkey first, though. Could come in handy later. Uh, no, no, no. Not, uh, not acceptable. Get out of here. Ah! I went too far. Well, I bought some ropes instead. Okay, not really what I would have chosen if I were in control of my actions. What a... Man, I thought they, they lowered the number of arrow traps in caves. <laughs> and indeed, we have recently not been seeing that many arrow traps, but four right next to each other. Man, that's a throwback to the old days, huh? What am I doing? I just wanted to smash this pot. I'm like, A, why? There's just a dang snake inside it. Uh, Monty, I'm afraid probably not. Okay. Watch the spider, by the way. He might get down here. Nah, he looks pretty stuck. Get on the turkey, please. Alright, that's the U-Jedi. Good, good. Check out this pot. It's a spider. See you later, spider. He's never gonna catch me. I don't need to kill him. Okay, so... Oh, right. I already have a cape. I've, I've been thinking I should, like, try getting a teleporter of some kind pretty much every time I, I see it, just so I can, like, understand how they work. Um, but I'm not going to do it when I already have a cape. That's just madness. So 
So I grabbed the Matic. Like, I should be able to dig out some gems with it, is the idea. And it only costs 7,700. It should pay for itself pretty easily. Actually, can I get back up? I have time on this level. Why don't I, like, get matic right? Turkey can be a little further away. There we go. Didn't want to accidentally matic him. There you go. Should have killed that spider. Now I have to go back and kill him anyway. Not a big deal, obviously. I don't know. This is maybe not such a great use of the matic. Three matic swings to take out, like, an emerald and uh, a couple gold... Uh, they're not ingots. They're barely even nuggets, really. Gold flakes? Oh, interesting. You can't... You can't use the turkey beak in midair when you're holding a matic. Because down... When you have an item... Like, down in the thing uses the turkey beak, but when you're jumping, it doesn't? I don't understand this policy. There's Monty, huh? Okay. See ya. Did I miss any? Oh, I missed an easy ruby up there, huh? Okay. Let's bring the turkey down so I have uh, extra hops. So that in case I react late, I'm still sort of in time. Come on. Yeah, I'll just go under him, sure. Why not? Now, I would like Monty, I would like the ghost pot, but honestly, the Matic is better than both of those things. The turkey I'm sort of neutral on. Oh, he's like stuck, whoops. Well, see you later, Turkey. That was maybe a little risky, you might say? Um... Yeah, I guess you would say that. I kind of tried to drop and let go um, before he got me, but I was not really prepared <laughs> to get caught on that little... I wasn't prepared for him to turn around, and then when I dropped down into that little area, I was like, what do I do? Um... Which is kind of a shame, because that was the only reason I even had a chance of surviving, was that I fell down into that area. So I sort of got lucky, but didn't follow it up. Um, I'm just not going to go in there. Well... Oh good, a scorpion. Sure. <sighs> I like... I'm just bad? I was like, yeah, I'll grab that ledge, but the ledge was not a ledge, it was this platform thing, and you can't grab the ledge of it. Huh. He tripped on an arrow, and then it fell and hit him. Like, that guy just got spelunkied, and he's not even playing. He's an enemy. Whoa, more snakes. Alright, at least we got the ghost pot. It's not a very productive 1-1, one -one, though, I must say. Alright, this little 1500, or 2000, really, at the end is... It sort of makes up for it. Like, we're not doing great on money, but almost 13,000 is fine. Shouldn't have done that. I might need a throwable. I keep thinking I still have that cape. One of these days it's gonna cause me some trouble. <laughs> I 
You know, if you were gonna throw the key at it, you should have waited to see if it had a gem before you lost uh, the ability to reach it. Uh, oh well. That was a little bit tricky, I must say. I guess I'll prioritize Monty over the ghost bot if I have to choose. But I don't think I have to choose. There is the key as well. Getting a lot of babysitting at the moment. Monty seems to be just fine. Ooh. Wouldn't mind buying some ropes as well. Excuse me? Did I miss the uh, Ujedi? Oh no, it's right under me. Got it. Okay. Well, this is a very, very lucrative bomb. I'll take it. Right, 2700 for one bomb is a pretty good deal. Let's buy all the ropes. Whoa! Want the ghost pot, not the rock, thank you. Hmm, something over there? I'm probably not gonna bother checking it out. It would require bombing and I don't have a lot of spare bombs to speculate with. Already expect Oh, that's a that's two rubies though. Thirty two hundred bucks for a bomb. Okay, you got me. Okay, we can leave now. Oh no, we gotta smash the ghost pot. Don't take it with you. What happens if you do take the ghost pot with you? Do you drop it or? Do you have two ghost pots on the next level, or what? Is there anything I want over here? Oh right, there's this gem. Overall, I'd say this run's going fairly well. Just like some of the recent runs that I died on. <laughs> they were going well until they weren't. Okay. Just watch the Tiki Trap. Never know what could be lurking. Alright, a ghost has been summoned, and therefore I will be leaving with great haste. We said this run is going well, so let's try not to lose it. Sorry, Yang, not today. Thank you, Mole. You were a... Oh, that was so dumb. I can't wait around for that. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I threw away another bomb due to a mistake. Um, but I still have one left. There's a spider in that jar. Great, more bombs. That's what I needed. To make me feel much, much more confident about finding the black market. Spider was highly evasive. Come over here, William. Thank you. It's not just that I'm bad at aiming with my whip, it was clearly the spider's evasive maneuvers. <sighs> was Monty up there? I don't think I finished exploring. Oh well. Wait, he just rolled, and then I was under him and he stopped rolling? Like, you heard him make the roll noise, right? I should just bring a skull. Like, what am I doing? I have plenty of money to go to the black market. I'm not like flush with cash, but I'm doing fine. So we will go in that direction. <laughs> oh boy.
That was a close one. I didn't think he was gonna be so close. Why is this guy, why, like I just play so carelessly with this guy. I don't know. Part of it is because like, I feel like his behavior is simple, but actually I don't understand it at all. Um, I'm not gonna spend a rope on whatever was up there. Looks like a ruby, yeah. It's hard to see the color, but it's shaped like a ruby. I guess emeralds are a pretty similar shape, aren't they? So, could be either one. They're all the same color in the dark. Look at that, another cape. Amazing. Uh, I guess we just go. I'm not gonna cape over those spikes just to get that jar, that's insane. The risk reward is just so outrageously bad on that. Most of the time you get nothing. Sometimes you get a spider. Occasionally you get a few bucks. And in order to like get that reward, you have to risk like if anything goes wrong, you die. Uh, so you see what I mean when I say not great. We can get back up from here, so I'll leave Monty for now. Um, I just I like to make a note of like when I'm moving. Ooh, when I'm moving from an area to one like where where I lose access to it. Like if there's a vine down here, this is fine. It's a a reversible move. Um, if there were no vine, I'd have to consider more carefully. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Oh, but not just yet, because uh, I want to go get Monty. Anyway, if there's, a, if there's no vine, you have to be much more careful about going down, because it can cost you something to get back. How do I get Monty out? He's kind of in an awkward spot. I think... Oh, I have paste. If I didn't have paste, that would have rolled to the right spot. Now I have to do something like this. Altar was over here. There's a bear trap on the right. Still have a minute left, which is shocking considering how much dilly dallying I've done. Okay, let's go. Oh, right, I do, I, I have the climbing gloves, look at that. Okay, well, I don't want to be over here. Oh, I do. Uh, gotta be a little careful with those. Ah! I thought I had... Um, if I either didn't have sticky bombs or did have pitchers mate, that would have been a fine place to put a bomb to get the wall in front of me. But neither of those situations existed and therefore I wasted a bomb. It's still like worth it to get a sister of the forest, don't get me wrong. Um because you can spend like even if you spent four bombs on each of them you'd break even. There I intended to spend one and spent two, which kinda stinks, but it's down there, isn't it? Ugh. Okay, that was... I, I, I started running from the spikes in case the, the monkey knocked me down, and then I saw this bear trap, and it was like, oh, there's nowhere good to go. Okay, don't want to be over there at all. Ugh. Um, I can't really get up there without... Haha! -ha! I figured out a way to do it without spending a rope or a bomb. That man-eater is just a real problem, is the thing. You know what? There you go. I should have... I should have placed the bomb where the black market was, really. And then... If it kills the man-eater, great. If it doesn't, fine. I can just easily go around him. 
Okay, now I don't have a ton of time, but I would like to get that idol. Oh, that was a little close. Oh man, an altar too? Anyway, that's the reason I'm only, um, why I'm not bringing my shotgun, is I don't want to use my shotgun to explore and then go click, go get the idol and have to make like another trip. Um, um, okay, made a little mistake there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, fair enough. Gotta go real fast now. To get to the clover in time. But I can go real fast. Okay, here I am. Let's go, go, go. Easy. Two seconds to spare. Okay, I have 53,000, which is not much, but... That's fair, because I've been buying everything I see, right? So I'd like the climb, or the spike shoes, the head jet. I don't need the head jet, right? We've been talking about this, is that I don't really need to do... Well, but what else would I buy? I just want the spike shoes, the compass, and the head jet. They don't even have any bombs. Okay, I guess I'll take it, fine. I mean, Monty. Actually, I really do want Monty, and I want to go fast. So I can bring him back to the altar. Spectacles would be fine as well, I guess. Okay, I guess I'm not getting the compass. This everything I bought so far has been more important than the compass. And we got to go. I can make that jump. There we go. Ugh. I don't have time for this shit, monkey. The, the Kapala is just so good. Even if I have to spend some resources getting away from the ghost, this trip is worth it. It's, uh... Wait... Oh yeah, Alter's over here, I remember. I was getting confused with the last level. Okay. We're fast, but we're not rushing. I left my shotgun down where Monty is. This is not the entrance, but that's fine. I put the ghost over there. I might have a little bit of gymnastics to do. No, he came far enough right, okay. Oh, I should, I can't afford the compass. I'm like 50 bucks short or something. So greedy. Um, okay, here we go. We're gonna put bombs here. And then escape like that. All right, spent a couple bombs in a rope, but I got the Kapala. Would have been better, of course, if I had just gone fast enough to not need to do all that. But you can't win them all, unless you're a better player than I am, who maybe can win them all. And I got spike shoes, so I can start using or walking on these spikes. I don't have any bombs left? Oh right, there weren't any bombs in the black market. And I don't think I found the second sister of the forest either, did I? Maybe I did. Is there any way up there? There's not. Not without a bomb. I would have loved to put Monty on the altar and get royal jelly. But it looks like that is not in the cards today. Sorry, little scarab dude. Apparently it had to be done. Well, at least we're getting two Sisters of the Forest. No, this is the key. 
What am I doing? The whole point of getting the key is to get the key. This is a pretty crummy... You just get like a bit of gold, but I guess whatever. You get a torch as well, if that's what you want, but there's plenty of torches on dark levels because the tiki men carry them. Where did I put my gun? It's in here. It's in here, over here. Wow, it's a good thing I had two bombs left, because I needed them, I think, to deal with that ghost. Maybe one would have been sufficient. But I felt a lot more comfortable with two. Um... Right, Monty is still up here, and I don't need a bomb to get him, so I'll just go get him. Even if you only get one health, that's better than nothing. There's nothing else over here? Yeah, not really. Okay. All right. So, this could be going better, but it's going okay. I have the Kapala, I have several good... Oh, that was only 2-3. So, we... We found a Sister of the Forest at some point, didn't we? But we didn't find two, I think. I'm like, it's, it's kind of fuzzy. Yikes. That gold is too risky. Whereas these bees look delishy. <laughs> there you go. That's that's my poetry for today. Just five seconds ago, I started a daily poetry uh, habit. This is actually kind of scary without bombs, but I do have a shotgun. What am I doing? What is happening to my life? Oh, she hits for two, huh? Interesting. Well, I still came out ahead, but not by as much as I would have liked. Oh, the Sister of the Forest. How nice. So I believe we're getting at least three bombs now. I have sort of lost track, as I was saying. Um, maybe 12? Maybe just ropes, which would be a real bummer. No, 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 no. You are not permitted. Bad monkey. Any altars nearby? Any altars? Not over here. Do one quick check this way. No, no altars. Okay, you're free to go. Okay, I'm alive. Thank you, Kapala. I mistimed picking up the idol and then like, I don't know panicked in some weird way. It's a little bit unclear to me. I'm actually afraid to use my shotgun because it could bounce me up into the spikes with the recoil, I think. Okay, all night time. Monty's up there. How many bombs do I get? How many bombs do I get? Three. Okay, well, that's better than none. Bring me to the dog, please. <laughs> oh, I think without spring shoes, I can't actually get up there without... It's possible, but it's tough. Just kill me, Olmec. I don't want to actually die, but I do want him to try to kill me. So 
So, uh, it's a little embarrassing to have so little resources when this run has been so kind to me. I sort of wasted some health, some bombs, probably some altars as well because of my lack of bombs. Let's just chill out on top of Olmec for a bit. Uh, so I don't know what to talk about. I um, I put some I put dinner in the oven before I started recording. Um, the idea being that um, I probably wouldn't have a successful enough run that it would matter. And uh, that could very well still be the case, but it's nice to now at least be in the position where I might have to... It's like one of those good problems to have, right? Ah, like, oh, darn it, doing so well at Spelunky, I have to interrupt the video to finish, to, to like go eat dinner. Um, But it's still, I got like 20 minutes or something, so I don't know. I'll, I'll die within 20 minutes probably, right? 20 minutes is enough time maybe to get to Neo Babylon, I guess? Ish? I'd like to go Temple here. Well, I don't know. Why don't I just go to Tidepool? And forget this dang Onk stuff. It's so easy. I have a shotgun though. Like I should, I should use the. Onk. I should try to get the Onk. Just to like improve my survivability when I go to Tidepool. As I've said before, I don't have the. Did he drop? Okay, there he goes. But where? I don't have the head jet. No, I do have the head jet. I don't have the the bow. So I can't do all the like super ultra late game stuff. Does he like I still don't understand. Okay, there used to be and maybe it was in like the beta or something. The third stage down here where he started shooting like he stayed hovering, but he shot out, like, UFOs instead of bombs? Like, I've never, I've never had that happen, but I saw it in, in a video. But it seems like now he just goes back to his, like, primary mode once he gets dropped far enough. So, I don't know. Sorry, Scarab. So, I think we're going Tide Pool and not trying to use the Ankh. to, like, advance to the super secret area, but just, um, use the Ankh as an actual extra life to try to achieve a normal mode win. It would be nice to have one of those, you know? Why did I buy the head jet then? It's sort of a mystery. I should have not done that. Well, I guess I... <clears throat> I bought the head jet because it would be kind of cool to, like, um... I think there's kind of gradations, as I understand it, of the advanced victories. Um, right, you can like make it to the the the, the main boss, um, and you can beat it, and that's like a, a normal win. And like, or you can have the equipment that lets you um, go past that boss into like the, the hidden area of the game, and you get to fight like a secret boss. Um, and then after you beat the secret boss, there's like some item you can have that, that lets you advance further. And like that's the bow, right? Which I don't have. But even like, I don't know what comes after that. Um, I don't really want to go over there. So I don't know. I just think it would be neat to go like part way. But uh, you know, on reflection, I'd rather just try to win. This is not some insanely great run that needs to be commemorated with a my first ever victory where I actually win all of the optional objectives <laughs> seems, you know, on the face of it rather unlikely. Oh, I thought I might get the Jongchi. Oh well. I was trying to sacrifice you. Rude. 
Okay. Okay. Sure. Him shooting at that force field is extremely spooky to me. I'm glad nothing bad happened. You know what? Well, I kind of like the ghost pot, but I don't want to deal with all four of these guys. Something bad could happen to me. Okay, Monty would be nice. But... I want to ex finish exploring with my shotgun first. Oh, sorry, little axolotl. And I probably won't be coming back for Monty just because it's hard to get back up. That's a bear trap. Kind of wish I had a compass at this stage. <laughs> that guy is just not what I want to mess with right now. I want the compass because I can't tell which way is the actual exit here or that area we saw on the left. There's a turkey? Oh, blood. Thank you. And bad news for you, Turkmaster. Turkster? Turkmeister? Turkistan? Turkey man? I still see the bear trap. Don't like that fish. Okay. Why am I going over here? That's a mystery. Let's not. Tidepool is like a somewhat scary place, although not as scary as Neo Babylon for sure. Gotcha. And so I'm just trying to like make it through every level and not greed out too much. Which is why I'm skipping some like stuff that might be nice to get, that's all. I do have spike shoes actually, so I think I could let that guy hit me if he wants. Ah, the poison! Okay, we do have to find Monty now. Where is he? Oh, ow! That guy... I was... Well, there goes my shotgun. I guess I was wrong about my understanding of spike shoes. Hello? I don't see Monty anywhere, and I don't hear him either. Maybe he's in some weird backstage area, but that kind of stinks. So we have to go through 4-4 relatively quickly. And also find Monty. Because I don't want the poison to kill me. <sighs> okay, he's not here. I guess I should be trying to get blood from that guy, but it's sort of risky. I still don't hear Monty at all. Uh, oh, that was poison that got me. Okay, fair enough. I thought I got hit by an enemy I couldn't see. Ow. Looks like I'm gonna die here. That's one way to cure poison, of course. I do have the onk, so it's not the end of the world if I die, but I would prefer not to. Alright, down we go. Fine. Don't mess around with those poison dudes. Like, most of the damage I took there was not from poison, right? Like, I took maybe two damage from poison, and I had six health or something. Um... But it was, like, indirectly from Poison, because I had to play recklessly. Uh, oh, I don't have a cape anymore? What? Why does dying take away your cape? I know, like, wearables are different, but I guess it does. Okay. And I guess I knew it did, right? Because sacrificing yourself to Kali also does. There he is. There's Monty, so... Finding Monty was the easy part of finding Monty and getting out quickly. No hired hands, buddy. Q. 
can't be done. Just pay a lot of attention to everything that explodes. I've had a lot of ice cave deaths where, like, something just explodes and it runs into something that runs into something that kills me, so... Blood? Oh, I should be whipping Monty more for blood, now that I think about it. There's the ice caves. I could get a compass. That'd be sort of nice. But also, I can't deal with that Yeti right now. It feels stupid, but he's in this enclosed space, and I have a cape and climbing gloves. I'm just going to skip the compass. So, get that the hell out of here. And give me some royal jelly. That should be a sizable help. I could try to, I could just, I could like sack the dead yeti, but it's worth so little. I don't want to risk something going wrong. Bring a rock. All right, Neo Babylon. Haven't been here many times. Just gotta be cautious. I have way fewer bombs than I would like for this dangerous an area. Gonna hang out here for a bit? Okay. Aha, that's the exit on the left. Nope, it's not. It just looked, I don't know, like a mushroom. And I was like, I like mushrooms. Here's the exit. All right, made it through 6-1, which I believe might be my record. You have to get through like four levels of Neo-Babylon or maybe just three. And I think this might be the only time I've made it through even one. With a K, oh, hey, oh, 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 no, that, okay, that's a circle thing. I thought it was an arrow trap. They're laser traps now, of course, but, oh, it got me. That was one. Unfortunately, I have so much health. Don't you dare. Okay, there's the exit again. Let's go. Uh, I could have rescued that guy, but that's really not my priority. That is an arrow trap, and I don't have anything to trigger it with. I don't want to lose four health, so... Maybe it's only two, but I think it's four. Okay, this looks safe enough. Oh, I don't have a shotgun anymore. I really kind of needed that as a way to deal with the boss, because I don't have enough bombs with paste, and also I don't understand how to use bombs to kill her. She has some weird thing where it's like way easier with a shotgun than with bombs. Okay, here we are. This is the boss, Tiamat's throne. And you have to like, I don't know, damage her and then, let me look it up real quick. What's what's the deal? Blunky to Tiamat. Blow up the tops. Okay. So yeah, blow up the platform so it's easier to get to her. I get that. Oh my god, this website is horrible. Ugh, I give up. I don't want anything to start playing video, you know? So you have to, like, you can do it by... blowing her up somehow, but I don't really understand how, because she doesn't seem to take damage from one bomb. I heard you have to, like... use a bomb and then... Maybe there's a shotgun down here? No. I already have to like use a bomb and then when shortly afterwards hit her with another bomb for it to count or something. I don't know what I'm supposed to hit her with. I've been trying to land on her with spike shoes, but I don't know where the hitbox is or anything. Missed. Like that doesn't seem to do it. And then she yells and I get hurt. Okay.
Health, please. Thank you. Okay, so she... She is hurting me, but, like, I don't know. I don't understand. Okay, I think what you have to... You have to be in the air when she screams or it hurts you, right? Does that make sense? The more mosquitoes, the better. I'm also happy with yetis. Bats are not that bad, either. Oh, wow, look at that guy. What a cool dude, huh? Okay, apparently being in the air is not enough. Maybe you have to be far away. I'm really bad at doing that. So it is her face you have to hit. I could... I have a couple bombs and not much to do with them, I guess. I... Oops. Shouldn't have been so close. Missed the UFO. No monkeys, please? Ow. I, it's really harder than it looks to get away from her. worked, although I, I still don't know if that made any progress. really wish I had a shotgun. This fight is, like, unbelievably easy if you have a shotgun. I think I'm probably gonna die here. I don't, I don't really know that I'm making any progress at all. <sighs> I was trying to get away. She's, like... I could sit around and, like, farm blood, but ugh, I don't want to spend an hour here. I wonder what happens if I just throw a rope at her face. How does she like them apples? She didn't seem to mind that much. Yeti. Get some blood from. A scorpion is unpleasant. Get away! Oh my god, I stick to the walls. Okay, she made a different noise there. Right? She went, hmm, instead of rah! And so... I think that's like the origin of what I heard about how she have to hit her like once and then when she screams hit her again which is hard because you have to get far away to not get killed by the screaming I want to get that scorpion the like the, there's a like secret exit up at the top here for like uh, oh! uh, for like super secret ending which I, I do not have the equipment to go there no oh, I'm dead all right well Next time, bring a shotgun, huh? All right, so, uh, a personal best, so glad to have been here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.